Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to Viewer Emails. Viewer Emails. This is the very, very popular segment and uh, it's proving incredibly popular with all my fans, haters and other punters out there. So I'm really, really pleased. So, viewer emails, and the date is, which watch do you use, Archie? It's the Saturday, the 1st of June. Fuck! So you can work on it, inspect it, and hold a conversation. What great optics. Fuck me, Dad. I love my annual and my reverso. Fuck, these are amazing. So these here are from Esslinger, and the, the retail price of these, these particular magnifiers is $41.95. And there's a link in my description to this product, and this is the weekly product that Archie's plugging. It's the Esslinger magnifier. <coughs> and I've got to say, these are fucking amazing. I absolutely love them, and uh, bloody hell. They really, they're fucking fantastic. Man, I might take these into a brothel. What do you reckon? So, that's my Esslinger glasses. And i got to say, what a fucking cool set of optics. $41.95. That's not expensive. And uh, these are the type of things which will last you a lifetime. Get some quality things for your watchmaking hobby. And man, get good tools, and you you will be looked after for your life. And I gotta say, the good friends at Esslinger, they are nice people to deal with. So, Mark, thank you so much. I'm gonna put it there at the back of my display. And thank you, Louis, for that scotch. Fuck, has it been a bitch of a week? Mmm. Let's jump right in to the viewer. Viewer emails! Okay. And here we go. Let's have a look what's come into the mailbag. What has come in? We've got a lot of shit that's come in here. And uh, let's, let's, uh, let's have a look here. I don't know if I've read some of this. It's getting a bit tricky here. And uh, here we go. We've got an email in. And uh, this here was an email which came in. It said, Dear Archie, my name is Jack Bastard. I am 19 and I live in Be Bewildly, England. I am due to start my training to become a paratrooper in the British Army. As you can imagine, I need a very rugged timepiece for such a career. I really like the look of the two-tone Rolex Datejust. I was wondering if you could tell me what are the anti-magnetic shockproof properties of this watch? Also, would it function well in extreme cold? I am a great fan of your channel, and prior to watching your channel, I was the owner of a Tag Heuer Link Quartz. I have since, educa have since been educated in horology by your expertise. I also like the fact you don't mince words. Your help on this matter will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, I, my, I replied to him, and I said... Hello, Jack. Great to hear you are protecting the motherland! Okay, the date just is a great watch, but personally, the three best Rolex pieces for you are as follows. Number one, the Rolex Deep, the Rolex Sea Dweller. Fuck that Deep Sea piece of shit. This model, uh, this, is, this was the model before the current Deep Sea, the ultimate heavy duty watch. Number two, the Rolex Submariner No Date, model 14060, buy it pre-owned. Great, great Submariner. If it worked for fucking James Bond, it will work for you. And number three is the Rolex GMT2 or Explorer 2. Both are great fuckers. And I said, personally, stay away from two-tone. The gold section is soft and prone to stretch. Also, your staff sergeant is going to pick on you if you wear a two-tone piece. Go with all steel and an oyster band if you're going to go for a date just. That is 
my advice. Shut up! So that was my advice to Jacques, and uh, he very kindly, he's going to give me a donation. So thank you, sir. I'm humbled by that. That's a cool email. And the other great thing is, the other great thing is, is I uh, got a reply from my good friend, Mr. Barbecue. Mr. Barbecue, who runs the coolest barbecue service in Houston, Texas. And uh, this was Tim Sharp came to me and said, Hi! In a word, don't. This is in regards to should Archie swap his annual calendar for a Rolex president. He said, don't! A diamond encrusted all gold Rolex president screams, I've made it, fuck off, but has zero class. Every swinging dick oil millionaire in Texas wears one, but they are just like a Rolex, a gold nugget Rolex. Gouch! Goosh! 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 Who's the goosh? Is that, that's not that character in different strokes. Remember that, the, 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 the bully who was picking on Arnold? The gouch? The goosh? Was that the goosh? I don't know. You're Archie Luxury, not Archie Goosh. You don't mind if I pour a drink while I talk to you. And uh, he goes on to say there, what will you do next? Start wearing gold chains? Fuck the yellow gold Rolex. Any Patek is much more sophisticated. So what if the tarts don't know what you've got? Do you want to impress tarts? I hope not. No, not sure you need two Pateks though. You need a solid sports watch like a steel sub. Yes, I know, Archie doesn't do manual labour, but what about taking the kids to kids swimming? Gonna wear your Patek, your AP, your Brega? I don't think so. When you feel the need to put on a condom on them, if it just rains. That's why my beater is a Submariner. Beat it, drop it, scratch it, drop it in the loo, it still fucking works. Don't become Archie Crass. Forget the pimp watch, your buddy from Texas. And I gotta say, I need a fucking drink after that email. Fuck me there. Let me have a drink. I gotta say, thank you, Mr. Barbecue. I think you're right, okay? At the end of the day, I found it very, very hard to sell, to get rid of my two Pateks. I really do love those fuckers. And uh, I do appreciate all the loyal fans who emailed me with concerns. And that's why I asked my fans. I didn't just do it. I asked my fans, and uh, I've been trolling around the internet, and uh, I just do Google searches on Archie Luxury and see what fuckers are saying about me. You know, just, it's always, it's always a good bit of a laugh, governor. It's always a bit of a laugh. And uh, <coughs> I was having, doing a bit of Google search, and the forums, watchyouseek.com, Archie Luxury is now Paul Pluto. I'm not sure if this is new info here, but a random YouTube troll revealed Archie Luxury now uses the rather pedestrian name Paul Pluto. Is he, but he is still sprouting the same brand of superficial bullshit so unique to the Gold Coast. Fuck you! And uh, it's Horatio Paul Pluto. Fuck you! And uh, I gotta say, some comments that came in. Let's let's have a read. And there is he's a good into, he's good entertainment value. He is now poor Pluto and never Archie Luxury. He was always PP, his real name. Uh, there's some, some interesting comments that were left there. Um, he was Archie, then made another program called Poor Pluto Prestige without the swearing, but it never caught on. Oh, what a fucking shame. Well, the Paul Pluto Prestige channel, we are going to use it, but it's just, just a bit, you know, I can only fucking do so much. I make this, these videos whilst I work. i got a fucking real job. You know, i got a, I got a real fucking job, governor. I don't do this full fucking time. I do this part fucking time, governor. 
And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the way it works there. So, fucks, there's some nasty, mean fuckers out there. Nasty fuckers. And uh, I don't know what to say there. It's just, it's just tough. It's tough being Archie Luxury. It's very, very tough. But, uh, yeah, i got to say, you know, some interesting comments were raised there, and uh, it's very, very interesting. I enjoy all the video and hope that he keeps producing. They are funny and interesting. He's definitely one of my favourite net personalities. Thank you, H-Powders. Thank you. Thank you for the support. And uh, it's cool being Archie Luxury. And uh, I had, I was trolling around... And I, I found a real interesting email. And this was a concerned watch owner. Let me read it to you. In 2005, I bought a, my first Amiga watch from an Amiga boutique in Cuta. I bought a nice looking DeVille Quartz Prestige two-tone with champagne face. For this past Christmas, I got my second Amiga, a Speedmaster Automatic from the new Amiga boutique in San Diego. Fuck, man, you're paying retail. You're not listening to the show. About this time, I ran across Archie Luxury's videos on YouTube. And in one of his videos, he asserts, comically even, that Omega is not a true luxury brand. He mentions Omega used gold-plated parts. While well, I'm a forming a blah, 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 blah. So I'm, I'm really pleased... I've started to etch my way in to serious thought and web forums. And any of you fuckers out there, if you want to get Archie to advertise your product, I can influence these goons to buy your crap. So please, if you've got a second-rate watch brand, I'll gladly plug it. Don't you worry about that. And uh, today, I'd just like to go through, let's get in the Archie Archive! Let's go back in time. Let's go back in time to an Archie Archive! An Archie Archive! <gasps> and the Archive is, what wristwatches are dogs? What brands suck? Please enjoy this Archie Classic video. I'm Archie Luxury. This has been viewer emails. Please tell me what you think. Nice one, Archie. Another fantastic show.